the corner everybody's having trouble with. See, his car just wasn't pointed quite as good as that 11 of Denny Hamlin. And that's so important in the center of the corner, trying to get rotated where you can get back to the gas. Because if it's not pointed, now you're forced to get back on the gas with a handful of wheel in it. The car wants to get loose, making that left rear light. Point is such a big deal here. You can you can literally visibly see it. He'll end up in the top five, one one thousandth slower than William Byron. Eric Almarola, 27.159 in round one. And these SHR cars haven't been qualifying well. Both Eric and his teammate Chase Briscoe making this final 10 round. I think that's a big shot in the arm to their organization. But will it put him on the front row? No, fourth for Almirola, 27-27. That secures a front row spot for Denny Hamlin. And it's all up to Ryan Blaney, who was 27.116 in round one. A little bit wiggly, pretty loose getting off the corner. He entered high, Way up got there. that thing rotated good, got to the gas, can he keep the throttle down? Now it's all about do not go down here and throw it away. Don't overdrive this corner. He floated off in there, but she's going to drive off into the sunset. Great lap. And Blaney, 27.127, wins the Bush Light Pole. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Okay, well, I was technically right. He's 100 slower than his previous. So he, he didn't need to go faster, but he needed to go by just as fast. <laughs> Well done. Regan. Regan. Well, Mike, we stood there watching the lap just a moment ago with Denny Hamlin. You're watching the ghost car, and I saw you kind of get a little a little cringe as he went into turn three there. But nonetheless, a good lap for you. Needed a little bit after practice, and you guys found it. Yeah, we, we definitely got a lot better with our FedEx Camry. And, um, yeah, proud of the team. Really made some big strides there, especially on the short run. And, yeah, I, it was me really in turns one and two, kind of not get back to the gas quite as quick as I should have. And I knew when Blaney had that little lead going into three, I'm like, yeah. I, I knew I had a good three and four, but it wasn't that good. So, um, yeah, proud of our whole team for getting this thing, uh, you know, up front. And now we just got to stay there. This track's going to evolve a lot tomorrow. Top, bottom, different lanes, different places you guys need to run. How do you prepare a race car and how do you overnight figure out what you want to do as a driver? Well, I mean, we, um, you know, we, we got good, you know, decent practice time where we felt like uh, I was able to move around and kind of figure out you know, where the grip is and the, the top lane is just so dominant right now with grip that um, you're going to have to have your car working up there. So um, hopefully we, we've got the track position now. We just got to keep it up there. Good luck, Danny. Thanks. All right. We'll talk to that fellow in the background next. Ryan Blaney.